Hello YouTube and welcome to a brand new Unity 3D tutorial. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is carry on working on our saving and loading but we're going to adjust some features and we're also going to fix the mouse look script because it was a bit glitchy when we loaded it. So you can see when we look around and we'll look at the planet, we'll press Q, well escape and we'll save it. We go and have a look and it's saved it, right there everything's saved. But then when we click move away, so we'll fly over here and we'll, you can see it's there so we'll look the other way and press escape, load you'll see that when we move it's a slightly glitchy in the way it does it because it's not in the centre no more so it's a little bit glitchy and we, we, we are going to fix that like really simple so the way we actually do it is we need to actually save the mouse lock sensitivity, not sensitivity, rotation so if we go to our character and find mouse lock here we have X rotation and Y rotation and every time we move, so let's just click it they spin around. So if we were to load it, um, say save it as that and load it as that, the mouse look script would automatically make it go like that or a jerk, where we need to save the X and Y, so it's really simple. So to do this, I'm going to go to our GUI scripts and on screen actions, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to scroll down to our saving part and just under camera details, I'm going to press duplicate it and I'm going to type camera in fact, mouse look, in fact, mouse x rot, so mouse x rotation. And to find it, we need to go game object dot find and character. And we don't need any of that, we just type character because we have the variable up top. And then instead of transform, we're going to type dot um, get component mouse look. And we're going to go into it and we'll get dot rot x rotation I believe that was it let's go and have a look to double check so character mouse look and x rotation perfect so it'll save it as a float we must remember that otherwise if we save it as an integer it'll go wrong so we have that we're going to duplicate it again y rotation y rotation perfect so we've got those two and the only th other thing what's left is to load it so we'll scroll down and I'll just paste this here so we've got it duplicate this one and we'll say if get data equals mouse x then character dot get component mouse look dot x rotation because it's x rotation equals and then we're going to convert it to a float so float dot pass one duplicate it one more time so y rotation come back to the beginning and y rot perfect so that should save our um, thing so we can go and try it and then there's one more thing I want to do after it and it'll fix some glitches and fix um, some saving it'll, well make it easier to save so I'm going to look down here and press escape save so we've got no errors let's go and check see if it's worked so as you can see perfect it saved it so we're going to click resume look up here fly over so we're facing the other way load game and it fits it exactly back where you were looking so you might not want that, you might want to just set it to zero so it refreshes it. It's up to you, so it doesn't really matter. So the thing we're going to do now is make it easier to start saving and loading. So the reason we're going to do this is because currently on our land game, we don't need to store um, this one on screen actions. We don't need it. But we, for, to save and load, we'd have to stick it on or copy everything. And it's not really useful. So what we're going to do is go to HUDs, right click, create, and choose uh, JavaScript. We'll type saving underscore loading. So what that will be used for is to store both of those functions, and all we do is go in and call it. So what I'm going to do is attach that to the GUI scripts, not GUI scripts, I'll attach it to MIS scripts, because every single level has MIS scripts, and it's not really a GUI thing. So we're going to open it up. And the first thing I'm going to do is go into this start variable and we need a variable for our character. And the reason we need this is on, on screen actions we use the character a lot. So we need a variable to do it. But we also need a time variable to store the time here. And because it loads we also need input output. Don't worry about it, all you're going to do is go to the top and there. And I'm going to copy these four variables here. So system I, I O time pause active and character. Stick them at the top, and all I'm going to do is remove pause active. 
like so. So what I'm going to do is assign character here. So character equals game object dot find character. So that's set that one. So that's our three variables. So now what we can do is remove the function update and go back to our not mouse look on screen actions and we'll just hide function update and function on GUI. We need to cut cut save data and load data. Just complete the cut them so they're out of that. And paste them back in here. Perfect. So now all that should work fine without it. But it will throw an error in on screen actions which you will see here. So there's the error and all it's basically saying is on our um, on screen actions it doesn't understand what load data or save data is so we need to point it in a new direction really simple to do we're going to type game object dot find and we're going to take it to misc scripts because that's where our um, saving and loading script is so we're going to type dot get component saving underscore loading so we've done this many many times all it's doing finding that object getting one of the scripts dot save data that simple it's long but you're done just paste it on load and save and you're done so we go back and you'll see no errors hopefully so we're going to click play and you will see we'll be able to press start and we'll click save game we get no errors which is a half good sign which I'll explain why it's a half good sign in a minute we're going to go back up and check it perfect so it is a good sign it's worked now it's saved everything the reason I said it was a half good sign is because sometimes and um, you'll get no errors it'll be like right there's nothing wrong but then when you try to save it all this will just be blank even though your code works perfect so it's kind of annoying but if it shows it works usually if it does that it's something to do with the game object that I find I often missed an underscore or one time I missed the S off it missed script and it didn't find it. Didn't throw an error either, which is kind of confusing, but hey. So that all works, but if you will draw attention to the entities here, we do actually have an error when our character hides. As you can see, we get errors when our character hides, and we're just gonna fix that for the last time. So I believe on our pause script here, it should by default hide the character, which it doesn't decide to do but we'll just we're just gonna fix that basic error so basically all it's saying here is it cannot find a character on line 27 27 is to find a player and um, it does usually throw an error when I click pause I don't know why it's not been doing I must have fixed something without knowing but hey so what we're gonna do is tab that out and hit next to it on this line we're gonna type if game object dot find dot character here and all we're going to put is simply does not equal null. And what that'll do is if it finds it, then it'll run this code. So it'll set the variable. But if it doesn't find it, it won't set it. And if it doesn't set that variable, then player, it won't understand anything. So it'll just skip it. It's weird, but it does. So we should be able to just press the hide button and it should, like, gone. If nothing's changed. So we wait for it and then we'll find our character. Press pause. And hide it. As you can see, no errors. Perfect. All this is doing is something to do with the animation cycle. When I actually figure out what that is, I understand Mechanum's a Unity animation thing, but we'll fix that. But that's all we're going to do, and I cannot no longer get rid of that. Ah, oh, that's a glitch. So I'll get rid of that now. But yeah, so when we. That's all we're doing for this tutorial. I don't know what we're going to do next tutorial. I don't want to carry on with saving again, but it might look like we have to. Or we could add something to the AI or something cool. You never know. Thank you for watching. I really hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time.